Hey you fellas, welcome to Windows 10 Beginner's Guide to Brilliantism. Many of you have probably updated to this from Windows 7 or 8.1 and you might be wondering what is, what is worth doing with this new OS? It's new, it's probably a bit different and you'd be right in thinking it's a bit different. There are some things that have uh, affected this new operating system. Development in the mobile market specifically, it's very popular now among OS's to just farm your data. So they are, even if you turned on, uh, off all of the um, advertising stuff when you installed Windows, it's still probably farming some of your data. So let's start off by, um, by sorting that out. So you're just going to type in privacy into the start menu and they've put all this in one place. So any number of these you could have turned on. Um, I think this one is on by default regardless of your settings. Um, one that's quite important, getting to know you. If it says um, stop getting to know me here, you want to be doing that because they are, um, they will be recording what I say they, this is Microsoft, it will be recording what you're, um, what you're saying whenever you're using your microphone. This isn't such an issue for me because my microphone is um, a condenser microphone, which basically just means it needs power to, um, to pick anything up. So it's only on when I want it to be on. However, Many of you might have webcams and stuff, and they're on all the time. So they're, um, if you've got a webcam plugged in or whatever, this could just be uh, just recording your mic all the time, and they they have a lot of data on you. They know all the weird stuff you're into. Um, it's similar for typing and stuff as well. I think they look at that's. Um, I think that's do the advertising ID as well. Look at what you type and what you commonly search. So just go through some of these. There's a few of them. Um, there's background apps as well. You'll probably want to turn these off. I'm leaving calendar on just because I'm kind of curious to see if the calendar is any good. Um, but you can probably turn all of these off. You, if you have Get Skype or Skype, um, you can turn this off. This is completely different to Desktop Skype like I have here. Um, this is a different app. Uh, there's another one here as well to do with Skype. Um, I, I think it's on the microphone. You can turn the microphone off here. I've got Get Skype because I haven't got the Windows version of Skype installed, I believe. But if you do, then you might just have regular Skype here. You can turn that off safely and still use the desktop one, which I would strongly advise you do. So thank you very much for watching. This has just been a little introduction to um, Windows 10 for those of you who are new. So you can stop getting your data farmed and you can just be happy that your computer isn't spying on you. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in another one of these if people are interested. Let me know if you want me to cover anything more. Bye-bye.